Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Breaking news edition, we have finally got another big set for the 2021 lineup of Halo Mega Constructs, and it's a big one, guys. This is really exciting. I feel like we were in a bit of a drought, like I was so desperate to find out all the sets that were launching this year, and we just got a really big one, the Chopper Takedown. And it's actually a really cheap set, comes with two named figures, and the return of a very fan favorite Mega Bloks vehicle. I absolutely love of all the choppers we've got before, particularly the Brute Chieftain Chopper. I feel like this is like a reimagining because it is like a Chieftain Warrior. And hey, let's just break it down. Let's have some fun. This looks amazing. So, so far this year, we've really not got that many sets announced. And there was a couple of rumors. BigBadToyStore.com just put some placeholder listings of new Halo sets. So we knew they were coming, but here we go. This is actually a pretty damn cheap set. Only 25 Canadian right now, which could actually turn out to be about 20 US dollars. It's available for pre-order on Amazon.com or Amazon.com. Canada, a CA, I don't know. And it retails, yeah, for pretty cheap. And this chopper looks amazing. Far more detailed than any chopper we've ever got before. And it comes with two figures. One of them is Frederick. I mean, it's not exactly his colors, but it's a light blue. It's actually the same light blue that we're getting in Infinite Series 3 blind bags. And it's that Fred mold that we saw in those blind bags. But now it's actually got the 104 on his chest. This is real. We got a Fred this year, guys. To me, that almost entirely highly confirms that blue team will be an infinite. I mean, he's literally up against, and this is the second figure, the bad boy himself, Ekrim, 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 the big bad brute. We saw him in the Halo Infinite campaign reveal trailer, and everyone's been speculating when we're gonna get him alongside Jaeger. We've only got this weird Hyperius figure so far, and he is actually coming out in the new Halo Heroes line again. And now we finally got this, this badass brute. I don't even know what kind of part he'll play in Infinite. Maybe he'll be one of the final bosses. Maybe he'll be the final boss, or maybe he'll just be one of many hands of Atriox that you've got to take down slowly throughout the game. Either way, I am so hyped for this set. Let's go into more detail. This chopper looks exceptional. First of all, this chopper rotates on an axis, which just looks amazing. Choppers in the game, they have such volatile movements, like swiveling around and adapting to their environment, and everybody is just so hyped. It's that banished red. We absolutely love it. It's got a crazy amount of layering, crazy amount of details, and when you look at the alt build, you can see that the wheels are just like this dark grey silver, and you have to layer all that banished red on top. It's got great banshee cannons attached to it, it like juts out, and it's so spiky and serrated all around. It feels exactly as I would imagine a brute chopper would be in the game, and everybody's been speculating for so long, like, if the brutes have returned in Halo Infinite, what vehicles are we gonna get? I know everyone really wants the Prowler to return, but man, a chopper, I just wanna be ripping around that ring and a chopper. I'm so excited. This seems like a big win for Halo Infinite. And while our bearded Craigie boy, I mean, he still looks like Craig, let's be honest. He only has a basic gravity hammer, but then Fred has a really nice Spartan laser and there's a green turret to go alongside it. This is just, honestly, I I'm so much more hyped about this than I am for the Wasp Onslaught. I know we've had a few Wasps before and that is a really pricey set, which again might be 45 US dollars, might even be 50 US dollars, but this one is a really cheap set. I absolutely love it. And let's just talk about about the alt build. This is by far the coolest alt build, maybe aside from the skiff intercept that I've ever seen. It's like this epic drone against an even more beefed out turret. I'm all about it. Tower of Ultimate Doom noticed the return of Orbital Banshee Blitz pieces. That's a big mouthful. <laughs> and the Brute clearly has those Brute Chieftain shoulders from the Halo Heroes set. This set, guys, I'm so hyped for it. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. How many will you get? Will you buy two of them so you can have an alt build alongside it? For the cheap price of like 25 Five US dollars, maybe 30 US dollars. I will be picking up a few of these, guaranteed. Halo Infinite ticks closer and closer by the day. I cannot contain my excitement and Mega Constructs will just be leading us right into the game with more and more epic sets. I'm also kind of surprised that this s crack a crack this brute. I'm kind of surprised he comes in a cheap set. I thought he would be like the equivalent of the Pelican inbound, like in a really big set this year. Either way, I'm happy to get this in quite a cheap set. I'm going to be army building those bearded monkey boys and that Fred almost guarantees blue team in Halo Infinite. I've seen some speculation that this is like something from Halo Infinite, like Ekrim will kill Fred. I don't really buy any of that. I just think it's a one-on-one -on -one standoff between two cool characters. Either way, guys, let me know how hyped you are 
half of this set. We kind of predicted this successfully, saying that there'd be a Banished Brute vehicle coming in the next lineup. I think it's safe to say we're going to see a lot more Banished, a lot more Brute focused. Thanks as always for your support, guys. Stay awesome out there. Stay safe. The domain is signing off. And I'll return in 12 hours time with an Inside Infinite scoop. We've got even more Halo Infinite news on the way. Domain signing off.